It's kind of interesting that when we invite uh, Father Tim to give the invocation today, he works with our, our nursing home, provides uh, mass and services over at the chapel of the nursing home on, on a daily basis. And uh, we appreciate what he does for our residents over there. Thank you. Well, welcome and good afternoon, especially to our veterans today. And thanks to each of you for your service to our country. It means a lot to all of us. Really no way to express our thanks. I look back in history, and times were so different in the past compared to where we are today. But I think the thing that is so wonderful is the commitment of each of the individuals and their families and what you've done for our country. So again, thank you. Welcome on Veterans Day. It's very fitting that today, on Veterans Day, we celebrate a new partnership between the Veterans Administration and St. Anthony Regional Hospital. This decision by the VA to open a community-based outpatient clinic here at St. Anthony recognizes the efforts of our community to create a model quality healthcare facility here in our community. During this time of national healthcare change, our national recession, our significant national budget deficits, I think that this is an exceptional example of our federal government partnering to avoid duplication of services and expenses. The costs of health care have become a dramatic challenge for our nation and all of our families. And this is a great example of a partnership to develop a medical clinic within our community using existing resources to provide local health care services for our veterans throughout our region. This partnership is good for our veterans, it's good for our community, and it's good for St. Anthony Regional Hospital. So thank you to the VA. At this time, I'd like to introduce some of our guests that are here this afternoon. They're dispersed throughout the crowd, so I, I would uh, appreciate when I call their name, if they will raise their hand, keep their hand in the air until I introduce the group, and then we can uh, recognize all of them together as a group. First one, Maureen Nichols, our community-based outpatient clinic coordinator from the VA Central Iowa Healthcare. Maureen, to the back. Dr. Lori Drum, primary specialty care service line director for the VA Central Iowa Healthcare System. Dr. Drum, right here to the left of me. Dr. Daphne Poons. Dr. Poons is the primary care physician who will provide care to our veterans here at the Carroll Clinic, Dr. Coons. Louis Brody, the Carroll County Veterans Affairs Officer. Louis, you're hiding somewhere. <laughs> Additionally, Wayne Briggs is a member of uh, Congressman's team staff who throughout this last eight years that we've been working with the VI on this project has been a lot of direct help to us as a staff person. So Wayne, oh, here you go, to my lab. And, and uh, also welcome Bart Quick, the VA Chief of Volunteer Services, who will also give a, a few remarks later in the program. Finally, uh, Ed Stiff on our staff, who has worked to develop the contract and the physical layout of the facility with the VA throughout this period of time. Yeah. Please welcome all of our special guests. I'd also like to recognize Congressman Steve King, who has been a strong advocate for this program in St. Anthony. Congressman King will also provide a few comments uh, in a few minutes. We know you're standing. We know this is going to be a very short event. People have some important things to say. But for me, thanks to each of you for coming. This is a big deal for our community. A wonderful opportunity on Veterans Day to say thanks to our veterans and say, hey, here's something uh, to recognize your efforts. At this time, I'd like to welcome Mr. Art New, the Chairman of the Board of Directors of St. Anthony Regional Hospital. Thank you. 
the honors and services that they provided for so many years. It's also a wonderful day in that we finally came into the agreement with the Veterans Administration. And veterans in this area can have medical care here instead of traveling 100 miles. It's great for people in this area. It's also great for the community where we provide physicians and medical assistants close to the people. So it's a great day for all of us, and we very much appreciate your turning out.